So you may be wondering why me speaking here and the video don't match up and that is because my editing software decided it didn't want to work properly so we're having to improvise and voice over the whole of this video for you guys to actually be able to see it but that is not why you clicked on this video you do not care about this but you are here because you saw the title of the video and you want to see how I made Soldier Boy's shield so let's get into that. To start off with I cut out one of the sides plus a little flappy over bit of the box but scissors weren't doing a very good job because my hand just kept getting in the way so I ended up using a knife instead. I held it up to myself to make sure that the piece would be definitely big enough against my body and it was so once I'd done that I then folded it in half and cut off all the excess material and also made sure that it was neat on the edge. I sketched out the generic shape on one side of the fold before cutting it out and neating up all the edges by cutting off any of the excess material. I replicated the other side by folding it in half once again along the crease and tracing around it with the knife that I had. Although I had the shape of like a basic shield I wanted it to look a bit more like his shield so I ended up cutting out the circular bits that's at the top of his shield that had you know you know the, the the circle bits and I then also went in and trimmed the edges so that they it was a bit narrower because I wanted it to be more narrow rather than as wide as it was so I just did that. I then went in with a pen and I drew the outer ring bit and I drew all the little bits inside so that I knew where I needed to put the pieces that were raised later on. I got pieces of cardboard and I cut them um, to the shape of what was on the inside of the shield and I cut them to the shape and I stuck them on so that they were raised up slightly from the main like part of the shield and to make the star though I cut out five triangles and put them all around each other and filled in the middle bit with hot glue because I could not make a symmetrical star um, in the more traditional method and this was the easiest Just now way. I need to do that a whole bunch more times. I used three different types of glue to see which one would work better so I used a Pritt stick, PVA and a hot glue gun. I found that PVA and a hot glue gun were probably the best of the three. Pritt stick just didn't really work very well, it just kept popping off. But you can see now the how it's raised up slightly which is the effect that the actual shield has so I'm very happy with it. Once point. I cut out the last pieces for the day I got my sewing machine and I weighed it all down so that it would stick properly and I waited for the glue to dry with the sewing machine just pressing it all down. So as you can see I've put these bits on and I'm gonna go round with two layers of cardboard around this bit because based on the picture um, this bit is thicker than this bit, this bit is slightly in, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to make this bit slightly bigger. But I need to go around all of it, and I don't know if I have the willpower to do that today. So until then, I'm just going to let it dry. For the outside bit, I did the same process that I did for the middle parts, and I cut out bits so that they would fit around the edge but I used um, two pieces of cardboard so that because if you look at the picture the edge is higher up it's more um, I can't think of the word but it's, it's sticky outy more there is a professional word I can't remember it but um, it sticks out more than the bits in the middle so I used two layers of the cardboard so that it sticked out more than the middle parts. I weighed it down with various things so to make sure that it's stuck so I used um, PVA glue and then I used some ornaments that were just in the garden to weigh it down so that it's stuck properly and waited for it to dry. Once I'd done that I then secured the part that you hold on the handles I suppose they are onto the back of it by cutting out a piece of cardboard and making it so that one part of it could fit my hand in and the other part could fit my arm in. But I'd probably do this slightly differently and have it so that they could both fit my arm in because then I could have it um, on either arm because at the moment I can only have it on my right arm. 
but I secured it by putting a bit of PVA glue onto it, sticking it on and then securing it quite a lot with sellotape. I then got some black spray paint to spray paint the back of it. So I, I, I've just had this spray paint for ages and I just used it but I ended up running out which is annoying but thankfully I had some green spray paint which I feel like kind of ties in quite nicely because obviously Soldier Boy's outfit is slightly green toned so it worked out quite well. Um, I quite like the fact that this happened actually and once I'd done that I then made it look uneven on the back and I think it turned out quite nicely. I then used champagne gold for the top coat so for the top as you can see I filled in the gaps um, that I hadn't filled in previously with pieces of cardboard and hot glue um, which also helped give it that curved effect um, because his isn't like a straight shield it's slightly curved so I did this and then I spray painted it with this metallic colour um, which I think actually made it look really nice. It's not quite the same colour match but it's, they didn't have the correct colour in the shop. Um, this was the closest one but I actually think it turned out quite nice this colour and um, I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> 